In this video, I'm going to show you that how you need to set up your project or more project for Unreal Engine 5.0.2. That is the lastest current version for Unreal Engine. Also, it can be in later, maybe it can become the released and stable version. Okay, that is pretty similar. So yeah, let's get started. You need to first launch your 5.0.2 projects. And at here, in this video, I'm going to only show you the uh, project setup. In next tutorial video, also you find in the description that setuping the SDK, NDK, JDK for 5.2. Just wait for that YouTube tutorial. Okay, now just simply go to games folder. And at here, you find there's a lot of template available. There's a um, lots of question you always ask me that bro uh, we can't find the tons of project at here what you need to do you don't need to worry or which project we need to choose you don't need to worry about the project selection because uh, the project is all the templates and projects are basically same the basically the configuration you need to do in your unreal engine under so yeah do don't need to worry so <laughs> suppose in our case I'm going to choose the third person and the third uh the second question lots of user and my viewers call me comment me that bro if i use uh, if i choose c plus plus if i'm not able to code in blueprint no you're also able to code in blueprint and if also there's um some people uh question me that bro if you are using blueprint codes if we, uh, we can't use c plus plus no you even you can use the c plus plus also so there's a no restriction that you are using c plus plus or blueprints but yeah if you are choosing a uh, c plus plus project it will be also by default generate the all the visual studio files by first time but if you're choosing the uh, blueprint city first time it will never generate the c plus plus file but if you creating any c plus plus c plus plus class in your project after the creating a blueprint project it will be basically generate generate automatically so you don't need to worry about anything okay the second step is the target platform the target platform should be mobile then the quality preset is maximum to scalable the maximize give you give you the highest resolution highest quality and the you can see you can see the sharpness in your game but because even if it's a mobile game i always recommend do not say to maximum quality always say to scalable so it will also give you some performance more the second thing let's give our project name that ue 5.2 okay you can write 5.2 so i'm just writing that 5.2 our 52 and simply create a project if you are doing first time it can be compiled shared a lots of so keep it in mind and just be patient okay we have this project right now as you can see and now we need to do some couple of things in our project settings the first thing you need to go to project settings and go to all settings and search here that shadow at the shadow you find by default that shadow mapping method select this thing to shadow map why why we not using the virtual shadow mapping because the virtual shadow mapping give you the high resolution and high quality shadow map which i don't recommend for the mobile game or your mobile can be lag and you will be fine less performance in a mobile game so i guess if you want to create an optimized game you not should use the virtual shadow mapping beta you need to use the traditional shadow mapping okay the second thing the nanite and lumen is not available for the android and vr okay that actual vr i know that lots of youtubers show you that bro just look we are using or you can say that bro I, we watch lots of youtubers show us that we can use the nanite with the vr or other stuff look guys they are not running that game particular game in their actual vr they are plugging with their pc or steam vr okay they do, didn't show you that creating an apk and they didn't run that in their quest vr actual that in their vr headset okay they always show you with the plugs that you will be also see that there's a most of youtube i also see that um, they always plug the with their cable link cable and they just show you that okay just look it's working in the vr editor okay that is not a actual 100 percent vr game i call okay this is kind of like a simulation even i can run my all this thing because the pc give you the all the gpu uh, supports like the rtx you can use lumen yeah at there you can use but in actual vr it doesn't support okay so the second thing you need to search that n a n uh yeah n a n n and you find the nanite and disable that okay because android doesn't support nanite yet okay maybe in the future version our android and unreal engine give you the supports for the nanite so it can be great but for now unreal engine doesn't support the nanite okay 
the once we disable the nanites the second uh, the third step is we need to go to our platform select to windows select here that estc1 supports and the smc5 support 2 and select here that default rhi to default and the compiler version to 2020-22 the second thing you need to go to edit then preferences and search here that all settings search here that uh, multi mul ti here you find also or even you can search uh what is called maybe lights yeah if you search lights here you find that the light builds you find the enable multi stress light map encoding why you need to enable that because it's basically boost up your light big performance and it's also basically you know it's basically basically boost your light big time that's why i recommend it's basically enable the multi threads for in your processor to unreal engine can compile more fast that is the basically the thing okay once you do this everything the last thing you need to do in your project settings that you need to scroll to up now at the platform you need to just select that all platform just disable that unnecessary platforms okay for example i don't need ios or linux max or tvos we can leave the windows and android now you have a question bro if you have multiple maps how we can include that in our projects that okay we can how we can say our unreal engine okay you need to also install or we need this map too suppose i have one more level like this that lv1 and how can i can say my unreal engine okay we need this map too because if you go to page, uh, maps and modes we can only include one map set here in the error section you can basically add multiple maps in if you know in your case but there's a best method is you need to go to packaging scroll down and at the here you find the advanced section enable that i can scroll it and here you find that list map in to include the package bill just click on here you can add how much you want just simply this press on or click on these three dots and then choose whatever maps you want to add more okay so in this way you also basically including all the necessary maps okay even you can add your uh, light map big data once you have this thing last <laughs> what you need to do just give a restart of your project because it's going to be compiled some shader for your as you can see in my case it's also compiling shader so once the compiling shader will be done let me show you okay so as you can see the shader has been compiled totally done now we can go to platform and as you can see by default the android support has been enabled because as i said that if you watch my unreal engine 5.1 as you can indicate tutorials or project settings uh it's always showing you the error because as i said that there's a glitch in unreal engine 5.1 some of cases the android icon come some of cases the android come icon not come so it's basically android problem and in this way basically you are able to uh, set up your projects and you are basically rock and roll in your projects the last thing you can do is uh, because some of our uh, user tell me that bro whenever we create a level and scene well, i export the game in for my android and i see that the shadow is not uh, the shader is not uh, showing goodly or i even it's not working it's coming the pixel render so for fix this issue for get the simulation of android you can press the settings and go to unreal uh, the preview render level select here that android estc1 so basically it will be change your engine config and basically you will be now whatever you're seeing in your editor right now that is you'll be see pretty much similar in your android 2 okay in this way you can also can find out that uh, which material is not working or in which material is basically overwrite or actual shadow what's coming or not or it's probably coming or not okay so in this way you can basically able to select or set up your mobile projects in unreal engine last is 5.2 i hope you understand see you in next real video and in next real video we'll be learn that how you can basically set up the sdk and dk jdk for the unreal engine 5.2 so yeah keep it and straight